Oh Lord, I can't handle these problems. Oh Lord, I'm asking you to solve them. Silence has a knack for infiltrating eardrums to the point that it screams, mercy. Ceiling fans aren't quite dream catchers. They reek of mumbled secrets. Help as an ambiguous syllable when smothered with heavy hands. The face of sadness is a thousand sheets of paper in an origami class. You can bend corners, the way you can alter bones to shift diagonally, obey like a ventriloquist command, lift string up to make it look like your smile, lift string up to rattle your left hand like a teacup was on the verge of plummeting from your thumb when Noah's Ark would capsize in the tears that you bury in laughs. It's magic that you don't choke from the impressions. The walls tell jokes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not you. The anticipation still continues for the punchline. You caress rope like a love letter. Drape it over nostrils like a fragrance that may escape. Your stories have entirely too many periods now. When I grow up. Period. When I get married. Period. Tomorrow when I wake up. Period. There will be sentences that mourn for commas. Beggars with empty coffee tins hoping that your spare change will ignite their change. When change is rarely effective when done from outward in, you don't look for endings to begin. I apologize, suicide, but you are false prophets. Have told the medicine man that you need a doctorate to heal. Have told the praying man that God can't hear you when you kneel. Have promoted absence as an antidote to sadness when you are a selfish promise to never hurdle the transgressions ever shed the skin of victim. Your curriculum has more holes than a beehive. You taunt our fears, flicking stale bread as if we were ducks when you are not ashore we're swimming towards, inviting the weakness. A merry-go-round that short circuits, so when the inability to cope increases, you slither in with remorse off a peace and the submission that appeases to our senses, but feces is just a polite way of saying shit, and it is always considered a waste. How many seconds go wasted conducting the blueprint to death? Resolution is not conducive to paying homage to the stress by sacrificing your flesh. Suicide. You are a con artist. Have sold silence as emptiness. Disguise alone as a permanent residence when it's merely a visit. We all entertain that guess, that residual pain that leaves its baggage behind. Composure is not how it looks. It also quivers in quiet. It stands on a podium, knuckles pale, knees crashing, convincing ourselves that tomorrow is a dawn worth watching. Suicide, your intrusive nature has taught voices to be obedient to all sound except their own. And I for one am tired of burying the living who believe corpse is the course to freedom. When all I can hear is the sound of steel banging, bolting shut, and the cries of the lost who have succumbed to deception, still aimlessly searching for redemption. Suicide, you are a promise that is not worth keeping. Oh Lord, I can't handle these problems. Oh Lord, I'm asking you to solve them.